So this is the training course, right? Yes, this is our agility course. Okay. This is a uh, different trained obstacles that we get our dogs through. Um, you can see the different heights they can jump and clear. Yeah. Most of our dogs can clear six foot fences. No kidding? Yes. Now this is a female, right? Yes, this is uh, this is our only female in the unit. Now, the reason why there's not females isn't probably what people think, right? Why, how come there's less females than males? Uh, a lot of people think there's not females because it's not the alpha personality, but that's not at all. Phoenix is one of our best dogs. It's uh, most of the breeders in Europe, if there's a good female, they keep them for breeding purposes. Each one of these dogs are $8,000 to $8,500 wow. on average. So you can imagine the money uh, that a good female dog brings when they, when they breed her. Yeah. So we don't get a lot of the females in the States because the breeders in Europe use them for breeding purposes. Wow. I mean, is Europe where all this started? I mean, I, we, yes. we keep talking yes. about Europe yes. dogs and... Europe is, Europe is uh, to them, dog sporting, Schutzen, the French ring, those, those dog sports are as big in Europe as football and soccer racing is here. Oh, no kidding? In the United States. They sell out stadiums, 90,000 people. I mean, are the dogs celebrities? Uh, I don't know if they're celebrities, but <laughs> there's some big money dogs out there. They make as so much money as some of these, these yeah. pro athletes do. Yeah. These dogs, I can tell, they thoroughly enjoy this. I mean, this is not the, like every, this is not like work. <laughs> this no, is, no. This is like I live for this. Everything that we train these dogs with is all on a toy drive. Most of these dogs, 90% of their drive is through play drive. Yeah. And so we use that and, and we reward them through the toy. You can see how excited the dogs are when they, you bring out that toy. It's it's like the happiest thing in the yeah, world. Yeah. So it's it's that look in your eye when you see your daughter when you come home from work. Right. That's that's their look in their eye every time you bring that toy out. They aim to please, right? I mean, at the end of the day, that's, is that, that's what doing. they live for, right? Right. That's all they want to do is please us. So Amazing. it's it's awesome to see. It's awesome to know when they know they did good and they turn and give you that look like yeah. I did right, right, Dad. Right, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. It's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing here? This is an this, this is right? going to be as you can see our agitators getting in the box. Um, we're going to send our dog on at what would be simulated as an area search. The dog's going to go out in the area and he's going to search each one of these boxes until he finds the human odor which is gonna be Senior Officer Ashby as he's getting in the box there. Yeah, and the uh, dog's out here, the right? The dog will, yep. There's Rex and Senior Officer Haskins. Um, Rex is one of our veteran dogs. He's been on for six and a half years. He's actually the oldest dog in the unit. Um, they're going to, he'll, from right here, well, we'll he's gonna do our standard canine announcement, which yeah. you're gonna hear. Um, from there, the dog will be released to go into this area search to see if he can locate the suspect. Wow. Now, do they turn a dog loose, or does it? Yes, does this it... dog will be off lead searching. Get in there, make some big more rats. Please, Come out now. Donald, no, see my dog. He will fight you, and he will bite you. Attention there, as you watch the final warning. Make some police department. Come out now. Donald, no, see my dog. He will fight you, and he will bite you. Come up with us. Come on, get close and hold it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Is it fair to say that that dog loves that arm? <laughs> the sleeve is their favorite toy. We all have our toys and our little, our obedience toys that the dogs love. But the dog loves the feeling of that nap from that bite sleeve. All right, and that's the thing you guys used. You can put it on as a sleeve. It probably can absorb some of the crunching power. Is that Absolutely. What's, yeah. As you can see, the, the, the agitator that was in the box is petting him now. Yeah. Even though the, the dog doesn't go, his dog's not going after him. He's going after that sleeve. So it's, uh, <laughs> they know the difference. Yeah. The dog won. This is an indestructible calm. So we're actually, this is something kind of neat. We're actually at one of the schools here. It looks like uh, Wingland Elementary School. And uh, I would imagine this is part of the uh, kind of getting the public familiar with the animals or yeah, kind of a... Yeah, we do it to a public demonstration just to take any misnomers off our dogs being vicious or anything else. And we, we come and show the kids exactly what our dogs do and what they're capable of. Yeah, that's cool.
Thank you guys for having me. Uh, since last year, some things have changed. Uh, we have 13 dogs in our unit now. 11 of those dogs are explosive narcotic and patrol trained, and the other two are pure narcotic only dogs. Um, one of the dogs is a Llewellyn Setter, which is an itty bitty little uh, bird hound, which is it's not a typical drug dog, so she's pretty cool if you guys ever see her out. She only weighs about 30 pounds, she's a little thing. And then we also have our chocolate lab. The rest of them are all Belgian Malinois and German Shepherds. Yeah, so German Shepherds are bigger, the Belgian Malinois are smaller. My dog's only 55 pounds. So the Malinois go anywhere from 55 pounds to 75 pounds. And a German Shepherd can go from 75 pounds to almost 100, 105 pounds. So they're, they're a lot bigger dogs. Uh, Bronx is really small, you guys have seen. He's tiny, he's very agile, he's very fast. The Malinois are typically a little bit quicker and a little bit more agile than the Shepherd. You guys want to meet Bronx? Yes! Who hasn't got to meet Bronx? Who's new here? Those are my new kids. All of Bronx commands are in French, so he understands French commands, and he also understands hand signals. Every command I give him in French, he can also do with hand signals. Okay, and we do that for a lot of different reasons. So uh, if we're separated from the dog and we don't want the bad guy to know where we're at, we can give the dog commands without having to say anything and give away our position. Fight, and you won't let go unless I give the command, no matter which way. <laughs> So there's nothing in this world that he's thinking about other than that sleeve right now, right? You see how jumpy he is. He's just waiting for the command. But he knows he can't have this unless I tell him he can have it. Now you're petting him with it, yeah. and he's not even thinking about biting it, right? Because I, I haven't given him that command, so he knows that he doesn't get this unless I give him the command to get it. Okay. As you see, he won't take his eyes off of it. <laughs> that's the win, right? I mean, that's the reward right there, right? He won. Yeah. <laughs> it's his favorite toy. Why do they like that thing so much? I mean, it's like it's just good. Like... It feels good on their teeth. Yeah. It's, it's Kevlar mesh. Okay. And that mesh, they just they love it. It feels good on their gums. It feels good on their teeth. Yeah. Can I try strapping it on? Absolutely. Okay. I'm a little nervous here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Good night. Hold on. Okay, so. What's gonna happen is, okay, he's not gonna miss and get me, right? He's gonna, he's good aim at this thing, right? Absolutely. So I'm just gonna hold it right here, uh -huh. right? And he's gonna bite it, and I'm gonna just see the force he's got, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, man! Dude! <laughs> it's a lot of force! Here, bring him here. Here, here, here. Here, bring him here. Bring him here. Here, here, bring him here. Come on, Brox, bring him here. Here, here, here. <laughs> Oh man, dude, I was holding. It's got like a, it's got a handle in the middle, the, the, so you can hold on oh, to it. Yeah. But he's pulling it hard. Like I'm like, you know what I mean? He's got a good pull on it. Yeah, and that's he, he's he's pulled people to us, you know. And I tell you, if I didn't have that thing on, oh man, I'm doing whatever I got to do. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm doing whatever I got to do to like, you know, in the situation here. What an awesome, uh, that's awesome. Absolutely. And he's so disciplined. Like now he's back to normal. Yep. Just on your call. Up, see, come up and pet him. You can come up and pet him now. <laughs> it means nothing to him. That sleeve's all he cares about. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Very nice. That, that is so amazing. <laughs> see, he doesn't even care about his toy. This is his toy. Yeah. Good night.